Dr. Karen Gordon, now you say get your kids back into their school routine. No more 11 o'clock bedtimes. No. Packing of the backpacks, yes. buying the fresh school gear, help yes. them lay out their, their You're lunches. You're doing my job for me, man. This we is way too, I think I can just sit here. This is we great. We need to get them ready, right? <laughs> yes. You want to start building, uh, creating the routine. Very, very important to actually creating the routine. It's going to actually help them manage their emotions, get their sleep back on schedule. Very important. Or else they'll be overtired for yes. the first week of school. Yes. So, Wentz, do you have questions? Yeah, lots of people have been writing in, uh, asking questions on how to get get rid of those back to school jitters. Yeah. And one of the big comments that I'm getting um, involve college and university kids. Mm. Parents sending the, the, the parents, yeah. uh, parents sending their kids off to yeah. school. First um, time. First, first time. Yeah. Parents feeling anxiety, kids feeling yes. anxiety. Yes, yes. Okay, so what I would actually do is, again, talk about the strategy plan, talk to your kids going, what would be helpful? Ask your child, what would be helpful about how much we could actually connect? Get something kind of as a regular thing. So whether or not it's like once a day check-in, once a week check-in, you want to make sure you're having some kind of a check-in, but what you don't want is all of a sudden kind of like this parent that's kind of micromanaging, that's mm -hmm. kind of inviting the space. Because some kids don't want that. And it's more the parent's anxiety, not the child's anxiety. And be flexible because they may say once exactly. a week and then, oh, that's right. too little Right, and so don't take it personal because some yeah. students are like, you know what, I'm, I've been kind of waiting for this moment all my whole life. Yeah. Have a little bit of space. <laughs> so don't be certain. So you want to really talk about what's going to be the regular thing, whether it's a phone call, whether it's actually even like taking them out for dinner. I had some clients where they would do it like once a month. They would actually yeah. take their child, their, their college student out for dinner. So figure out what that, what that rhythm is going to be. Listen to their wants. And listen needs. to, but listen to them and let the student actually dictate it, not okay. the parent. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Um, and another comment that I'm getting from viewers too are about um, making new friends. Yeah. A lot of anxiety about whether they're moving into a new neighborhood, moving yes. to a new or school. Or an introverted child. Or an yes. introverted yeah. child. Yes. Okay. So a couple things for that. I love your point about kind of actually, you actually looked for other people in grade eight who maybe didn't have as many friends as well. Mm -hmm. I think doing the group thing really, so when you've got, especially for introverts, if you've got a huge group, small groups are going to be the place that you're going to find your tribe. Really important. Second thing is look for other people who are not actually included. And I love, one of my clients did this. She actually brought a deck of cards. She looked for other people that weren't eating with anybody. Okay. And she actually said, do you want to play a game of cards? Having an object give something for people to connect to. Or having your phone say, do you want to play this new game that I have on my phone? Or have you seen this Versus video? Versus staring at each other and having your, have your like, that, that's like, that's, like, that's nerve wracking. So and you, having also, an object yeah, is actually yeah. really great. And I love to pick up on some sort of a community, like group, for example, like um, the, the dance committee or the photography club. Find so your you tribe. So you meet people with similar interests. Yes, and then it's small. It's small, it's it's more controlled, and you've got a shared interest. Really important. This is my tribe. Can we sit at this Aww. table with you guys at home? Oh, thanks. Oh, more BT after this. Thanks, Dr. Karen. <laughs>